So last week I did a video regarding Rody XD and how I wasn't able to sign up for it. Uh, that actually changed on Sunday because I got an email from Rody saying that I actually have been accepted for the Rody XD route. So yesterday I put in for one route. It is from 8.30 to 4.30, so it's an eight hour route. Uh, we're actually gonna go through everything and see exactly what you'll be doing, the type of stuff you'll be picking up, where they're gonna have you going, because on this Rody XD, they don't show you, they don't show me where they're going. And yesterday I realized that they didn't have any Rody XD routes on the map actually. So this route is paying me $200. We're gonna see how long it takes me to do that route and also if I'm able to get other Rody gigs during the route. Hopefully they don't send me outside of New Jersey because I don't wanna pay any tolls. But if push comes to shove and I do have to go outside of Jersey, I will definitely be getting the uh, toll reimbursement that Rody offers. Hopefully they actually like Make it an easy process for me to get my tolls reimbursed because they, if they, you know, if I go over tolls, they know that. So we about uh, 20 minutes away from the pickup, and all the Rody XD routes in New Jersey pick up from Newark, New Jersey. So let's go. Yes, so first mind. things first, for the people that are signed up for Rody XD, is where do you find the routes? Please, you find the routes is in the top left hand corner of your screen there's like a green circle with four white boxes and then you press that then you go down to find blocks that'll show you every single block that they have available for that week that's what i did and you cannot take you cannot take more than one route at a time i just tried it it says it is not available on the route with that you're currently doing so that's out no more than one route at a time and all of these routes are from 8.30 to 4.30 with a guaranteed pay of $200. All right, so just made it to the facility and it's actually a UPS facility. So as soon as I got close enough to the location, a notification came up that says ready to start block. I hit yes. Now on the screen it says Rody. It says XD Newark looking for gigs. And let me see if it says anything else. We're looking for a gig to add to your block. This may take a few minutes. Okay, so we just gotta wait until they give me something. All right, All right guys, so they found me a route, but unfortunately, it's taking me into Long Island. I have maybe one stop, in, two stops in Queens, one stop in Great Neck, uh, East Hills. I'm not sure where this one is. And the last stop is in Dix Hills in Long Island. Jesus Christ. All right, we'll see if it's worth it. All right. Good morning. No. Patrick? Yep. Can I see your license and insurance, please? Let's see. Thank you. Been 98, okay? Okay. So, how does Zachary does this work? This is my first time here. How does Zachary does this work? How does Zachary does it work? This is my first time here. Package? It's just package you're picking up. Oh, so it's like um, like you have lanes marked in there? Mm -hmm. So, it's, I'm lane 98. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hi. You actually have two bins. Okay. Um, two bins. I don't like that. So 98 and 96? Yep. Okay. How many packages are there? I think it's 30 between the two. 30 packages? Because I have six stops on here. Because I'm not sure how, how that works. I think works. one route's six and one is 24, but when you go in there and scan complete, you should be able to scan the next route. Okay. And let me know, if you have issues, I'll go in there. I'll help you out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Okay. So this is kind of like Amazon Flex. Um, what's other money? The Vho. It's kind of like that. Hey, yeah, what's up? Once you this? load up your truck, you can put that wherever you feel like it. All right. Cool. <laughs> All right. All right. 
my phone. <laughs> I'm about to slap that somewhere too. Which one do I scan? That one? Yeah. Don't recognize code. That's weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So both drivers received a roadie magnet. Yeah, I got it. So we only got that way up. Because on this, I have six stops only. Is that 98 or 96 that you're looking at? Uh, so it's probably that one. That's 96 right here. Yeah. Doesn't say. Try scanning that This one's going. Yeah, okay. So you verify, but, yeah. See, I said complete pickup. He gonna press complete pickup. Just gonna load up. Pick up complete. If that was all he had, he could load him in, and he's good to go. All right, right. We got another pickup. Okay. Wait, right. no. So, do you have another pickup or not? No. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. Um, they didn't give me another route. Hmm. Uh, if anything, I recommend you bring it up as well. So like all right. That, you might be able to take home another card. You don't even know. I tried. They won't. They won't let me on the app. Finish scanning. Mm -hmm. Finish scanning and then I'll ask. All right. That's something that's prohibited. But whenever you know, sometimes if a big boss is here, they make it sure I can. Yeah, because I'm like, it's only two of us here. <laughs> Okay, so we had a couple problems with the uh, the packages. They had some boxes that weren't on my route that I couldn't scan. They didn't let me go. So what they did was they cleared, they, um, I guess, refreshed my route, took the extra ones off, and now I'm ready to go. And also, she said, if I'm done with my route early, I can actually come back to do another one. So all of my stops are in Long Island. There's one, one route that's in actually one city, so I just might have to come back and do some more. And let me just get you out of payoffs on these routes, because I thought it was 200, but it's actually not, it's more. Let me see real quick. So the first route is 24 deliveries for $227. The second route is six deliveries for 85.02. And they said I can come back and do another one, y'all. Rody XD might be it. So right now it is 9.03. It was gonna take me an hour and six minutes That's to get light. to my Turn first right stop. And there's something you guys need to note. You cannot do anything else outside of the Rody XD route. They, matter of fact, they don't even have the little circle that you can press to see all the other gates around you. You can't do it. So I'm like, no, I understand why. I'm on a route and she said they didn't want to make sure that they're paying me for the time that I'm out doing the route instead of instead of paying me extra for doing an extra stop, which doesn't make sense if what I said makes sense. So we're going to do a complete breakdown in this route, tell you everything going on with it, let's go. And another thing that they mentioned to me, because this is the first week that they started doing Road XD, is that they had people coming up there who have cars they said you cannot do these routes if you have a car you can't even fit all the stuff in your car this is not like vho where you know you can squeeze everything in no you cannot do this routes if you do not have a truck a pickup truck a minivan suv or a cargo van you have a car cannot do it and another thing she mentioned to me they do offer tow reimbursement. You just have to either take a picture of your receipt, which I don't have, or she said you can go on your EasyPass account, uh, pull up the day, 
and the time, I guess the transaction you have for going through the Easy Pass and send it to them and they will reimburse you for that toll. It's great, because I'm gonna need that. Now, we just gonna get into two things that, so far that I don't like about Rode XD. First thing is, you cannot pick your own route, meaning you cannot see where you are dropping off to. Just the way it is. But, I mean, they are paying you a lot to do these routes. $200? is a good amount for all the boxes that I have. But I'm actually getting paid about 300. Second thing is, they do not mark what box goes to which stop. So you have to actually go in here, look at the boxes and organize it the way you want to. Which I haven't done yet actually. I actually need to go in the back and organize all my stops. However, they said that they're going to have stickers that they put on the boxes to mark what stop is which. So that'll be addressed very soon. And they said this is just the very start of this. The Rode XD, and they're gonna have a lot of routes throughout the entire week. So we, I might just do this every single week. Now what I'm hoping is that they pay out the same day. That would be nice. But I guess afterwards, we'll see. Yeah, I guess afterwards we'll just see. And I just realized I actually forgot to put my magnet on the van. I'm probably gonna put it on this side. All right, guys, we are here at the first stop. And I really need to organize this stuff because I don't know what's going where. All right, give me a minute, give me a second, y'all. All right, y'all, so I'll organize it real quick. These three boxes right here are different stops. This row and this row right here are going to the exact same place. Uh, this is the box I'm delivering now. I believe these two are going to the same place. This is one stop, that's one stop. This is one stop, this is one stop. And these two boxes right here for the same stop. All right, so let's get started. Put that. Oh, I don't have to scan it, I just drop it off. That's easy. I thought I had to scan it. And that, that, okay. Okay, so I think this is the house right here. If I can find out how to get inside. Is that it? Yep, this is it, okay. So what we gotta do is, I thought we had to scan it, but we don't. Take a picture, visible, yes, yes. Now it says indicate drop off location. That's odd, but okay. Now I'm confused. Oh. Let me restart that because I can't scan it. I'm supposed to scan it. Okay, so I ran into our first problem. This is not allowing me to press the plus sign to scan the box. So I'm gonna have to contact Rody about that. Okay, so what I did was I sent the picture of the barcode and the picture of the delivery to Rody because what happens is they have an actual like different support line than they do if you were just on a regular gig. Like instead of going through the app, they have a phone number that you text your problems to and they respond to you a lot faster than they do with regular road support. So I gave them the, uh, the information, they cleared that for me, so we're on to the next stop, uh, 10 minutes away. Okay, we headed to the next stop, let me see, right now, corner. It says basement, I don't know. Basement? So maybe the side door I'll leave it at? I'm gonna put it right there, okay. Let's see. So now what's an arm? Okay, now I can scan it. I don't know what's up with that. Side door, right there, turn, take a pick. And we out. So what I did was, I um, I guess I deleted the app and reinstalled it and now it's working properly. So hopefully we're not gonna have any more problems with this. Stop number three. Uh-oh, it's doing that thing again. Oh boy, I guess they need to fix this. All right. 
All right, here we go. There. Oh, front door, take the pick, and we out. All right, so something that I have noticed is that you can actually see how much money you're earning during the delivery, but it's only after you do the delivery. So let me see my gig payout. So the first order that I delivered was for $21.70. The second order that I just finished was for $8.72. So right now I'm at $30 and some change. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that they're gonna be paying me the same day for this. It's just they're gonna, the money's gonna come in at different times. All right, next stop. Hopefully this one's in the back right here. Put us one of those two of them. That's not all right. All right, so actually they are, there are two. And I believe they make you do them separate. So for each of those boxes that I have, I'm gonna have to do them all separate. All right, there goes one. Complete delivery. Come on, Rody. They all gotta be done separate. Okay. Just so you guys know. All right, we at the next stop. Let me see. This one right here. Straps. All right, let's see if this is working properly. Yes, it is. Okay. take the pick on to the next stop okay so far so good right now I have five stops left to do every single box there is actually what's the light on every single box there is actually paid per box is what I'm noticing not per stop because right now it says I'm only at sixty two dollars ninety one cents for everything I delivered so I'm still like a good $240 short of what they're paying me for both of these routes. But right now it is 12-12. Uh, if it wasn't for traffic, probably would have been done already. But the thing is, these orders that are in Long Island, the last three I did were about 25 minutes away from each other. The last five orders are more clusters together. So I should get those done within an hour. And I have a feeling that this multi-drop stop that I have is going to be extremely annoying to complete because I'm probably going to have to scan every single package one by one, like one to complete the stop, second one complete the stop, which means I'm going to have to find what barcode goes to what stop, which is going to be extremely annoying because I have like a good 18 boxes for them. I'm looking forward to that. But that is something Brody definitely needs to address. And I need you guys to do me a huge favor. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because this video right here that I'm making today is the only video that I found on YouTube that is about Brody XD. We want to make sure we get this out to as many people as we can so we can all get this Keep money it. together. And also because I'm out here bringing it to you guys first. All right, next stop. Let's see which one it is. Right? No, oh, not that one. What? Right. Hope it's not that one. No, it's not that one either. All right, that's the one. Scan that real quick. stops are getting a lot closer to each other. Next stop is actually two minutes away and I think that's with all the boxes. So let's go. All right, we're here at the next drop with the bulk stop. Let me 
get my hand trick out. Ooh, don't want to drop that. I like me some barrels of Wilkins. Definitely got some headphones and speakers from them. Very good. So I found it, and as I suspected, I'm gonna have to go through the entire delivery process with every single box I have for the stop. All right, let's fast forward this. All right, so we have the last one, still waiting for this thing to load, but that's what the hand truck is looking like right now. All right, last one. Scan it. Jesus. Why? Okay, we out of here. All right, so Rody definitely needs to fix that because it took me 15 minutes just to deliver that one stop. Cause I had to scan every single box. Four minutes to the next drop, let's go. And with that last order I just delivered, the last bulk stop I did, my pay went from $62 up to $264.35. Cool. All right, third to last stop. Next stop. All right, second to last stop, Addis. Let's see which one, which one. This one. It's a nice house. Good, good. Nice walkway too. That's expensive. All right, last stop, Head 11 minutes away. All right, guys, last stop of the day, and I put the sticker on. Check it. You know we look legit now, or what? All right, let's get this box out of here. Scan. I'm going to do my thing for some time. Put it. give y'all my god honest opinion of Rody XD straight up I think Rody XD has just killed Amazon Amazon Flex and VO absolutely killed them because I started this route where I left the station at nine around nine o'clock I was in traffic for one hour and I just finished at 125 and at that time I've made three hundred twelve dollars 46 cents now if you just take the time or else or I was actually like doing the deliveries that only took three hours so that right there was a whole little bit over a hundred dollars per hour if you include traffic that's eighty dollars an hour which is still an excellent amount to be doing on a route like this like and roadie is probably only a handful of apps where you can make over fifty dollars an hour consistently and they said that they're gonna have a lot of these routes so i'm probably gonna be doing a lot of these routes <laughs> you know because like the money, the money is definitely there
there. And this is very easy work. I've done this at FedEx and it got paid a fifth of what I got paid today. Literally a fifth. Well, okay, a fourth. Maybe a fourth to a fifth of what I got paid today. And I still have the rest of the day to do whatever I want, even though it's gonna take me about two hours to get back home. So, other than that, I have no complaints, except they hold after scanning every single package individually to deliver them at, at a, the same stop. But I think this is excellent, Brody. I think this is absolutely excellent, and you guys should definitely do this, especially if you guys have a bigger vehicle other than the car. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Yo, share this video with your friends so they can get on this too. And I'll see y'all next time.